Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write a file in R Studio and how to save it in the computer. If you want to know uh, how to read .csv files, just click on the link below this video. Uh, I'm going to create a data frame first and then uh, save it as a CSV file. And to create the data frames, I need a matrix. So let's create a matrix first using the matrix function. Uh, I'll, and let's give the replacement true. And then number of column equals to 6. So here I have created a matrix with uh, 180 elements which are randomly chosen from uh, the number 1 to 200 uh, with some repetition and the number of column is 6. So let's create that matrix. So the matrix is created here and let's call that matrix in the console. Okay, uh, so we have a matrix here with uh, 6 columns and 30 rows. Now let's uh, change that matrix into the data frame. So say the data frame is df and and we can change that matrix into data frame using data frame function with matrix mat is the argument. So let's create that data frame df and let's call that in the console. Okay. So we have our data frame in the console and it's successfully created now. Now to write the data uh, in this data frame into the CSV file, uh, we write a command write.csv with the data frame df as the first argument and the name of the file. is the second argument and don't forget to uh, include the um, extension of the file in this case dot csv now we have successfully uh, written the data into the into the csv file uh, from the data frame structure now if i execute this line of code a csv file will be created in my working directory and also in the um, in this folder data inside the R tutorial. So let's execute uh, this line of code and let's see our data. Okay, uh, so you can see here um, a CSV file is created in my working directory. And let's go and see that file, uh, CSV file in my folder too. So you can see uh, the CSV file here also. Uh, so let's click and see that file. So, so you can see here, uh, the same um, data are now stored uh, is the CS, stored in the CSP format. So we successfully uh, uh, we successfully uh, wrote uh, the data into the CSP file, uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again in the next video.